Alfred Montan here. Thank you guys for stopping in on my channel. Um, if you guys are the first time here, uh, I do rib boat restorations and retubes and boat walkthroughs and a lot of things essentially uh, regarding boats and rib boats and you know all types of things on the water. But this particular video is about a retube and a restoration of a 730 Willard. Uh, those boats were common uh, back in the days used by the US Navy and uh, you see a lot of them, you know, just basically out there in the market and some people started picking them up and they'll restore them. This is kind of one of those videos. I wanted to do a retube of that particular boat. Um, customer called us and said, hey, listen, I want to restore this boat. Um, and I said, listen, we can retube it. And we did. So this is what this video is about. If you guys want to see the end, just forward to the end. It's going to be a long video because I wanted to show from the process of taking it off all the way to installing it to building the tubes it's a very thorough uh, uh video uh, if you guys watch my channel you know i play around a lot especially with the guys that are working behind me and uh, you'll see a little bit of that as well in the video so if you're interested in seeing how an entire retube works there's a lot of good information here i think it's valuable information it could probably save you thousands of dollars and most importantly a lot of headaches so stay tuned and check out this restoration it's long guys Grab a beer, it's long. All right, stay tuned. We're, we're beginning a video. Let's go ahead and see what's up with this Willard. We're going to remove everything from the back. Make sure I have the right. Yep, we do. Oh my God, that thing was barely on. I wanted you guys to see this boat that we're gonna go ahead and start restoring. So stay tuned. The Willard Retube is about to start right now. See that? See that? See this? Boom. Look at the rat right there. Look at him, look at him right there. Look at him. Look at him, we're already done. Ya se terminó casi todo, descará. Look, I couldn't even get the right pan on him. Yeah, I did, I, I did everything already, guys. That's it, it's done, ya. Era una descará de las malas. Todo. Ahora voy a subirme arriba. Da suelta. No, que estás abajo. Dale, da suelta. There we go. Now she's off for real. Wow, what a mission. Está enganchado. She's done. The so Willard retube beginneth. You're ready. All right. So we just got back to the shop, guys. Um, this is in the way. Let me move this out of the way. And okay so now what we're going to kind of do is we're going to try to reverse the whole process of the installation of this tube so we can actually get it from point to point and it's going to be a template all right so i'm using this you know screwdriver this might it's kind of toasted 
but the idea is for me to try to take off this rub rail without losing a lot of uh, time so let's see if I can I can get a good pull in here I haven't heated it up or anything this is kind of toasted so what, what, what I'm worried about is that it's gonna start breaking in pieces like it's happening already let's see there you go all right come on buddy we're on camera don't make me look bad and it's splitting right down the middle no there it goes there it goes there it goes there it goes come on oh It's toasted. They're saying I don't know how to work the woman. They said I did it too hard. I didn't I didn't work her. Alright, well. I kind of thought it would even be better if I did it like that. So I can show you guys all in one take, but I guess it's gonna be a little harder than what we thought, right? All right, so we will take off, okay? We will take off up to here where this actual seam is right here. So we'll cut from here and then we can duplicate this side the opposite way and then we have the same, essentially the same tube. All right, so the removal of everything continues. Now, when you guys ship your tubes, um, like I said, in most cases, we'll tell you, we'll tell you, listen, it's probably better if you bring your tube or if not. Um, I always feel more comfortable with you guys sending your own tube because we like to work off of it. Um, but, like I said, it's an option that we can talk to people about depending on what they want. Essentially, all we need is one side, guys. So, since we need only one side, what you guys are seeing, that black part that you guys are seeing there, that is the baffle within the actual tube, which separates one compartment from the other compartment. So, if you look at this valve here, uh, if you look at this valve here, it's, uh, there's another baffle here and it eventually comes here. See that baffle? Um, all right. A little bit more leverage this way. That seam is always a pro problem the joys the joys this is a hot topic now guys this whole corona thing <sighs> all right so he's at the table now and um we're gonna go ahead and cut the bow, and uh, and then we're gonna continue uh, disassembly. This we already have we already have it at the table, so that's good. And then eventually what we'll do is we'll open up the hypalon and then start getting the templates once we open up those seams. So we're almost there. He's gonna video that process in the morning when when uh, I get it, I get a little later than most of these guys because they're I'm a little further. So.
guy bro bro get away bro there's Jose already smoking up the joint I mean not really a joint but he's smoking up the place I'm bad all right so he's marking all right the template has been removed um, I kind of showed a little bit of uh, that process and now he's starting to go ahead and mark the hypalon that's on the table so if you look over here further back we have a roll um, just on the other side of the table and ever, ever starting to mark everything. See, now you guys can get an idea of why we were breaking it the way we were. So, 
Now the cuts. You'll mark it again. Make sure it's nice and straight. All right, and that'll be one of the pieces that we were removing. And then what we'll do is we'll fold this up and then we'll now have a template for that boat, which normally we store all the way up here, which as you see, it's, there's a lot. So now we don't have all of them, but when we do, we kind of try to tell you guys, hey, listen, we have it or not, or depending on what's going on. Let me see if I can zoom in here. I'm trying to stay out of his way, but yeah, you see that line? There you go. That's the line that we're working. And now what he'll do is he'll cut all that, and then we'll start cutting the whole thing, and then you'll see the next process. Hey, can you keep it down? I'm, I'm here working, man. You mind? Okay, of course, but I'm gonna come here to be posting for the camera and nothing like that. You know what's funny? Nobody heard anything you said because you have no mic on, and I do. And I don't want a mic. Little cutie. What is this, a nine footer? Nine footer, nine footer, two tone. All three are nine footer. Two tone. Actually, you know what? That's kind of cool because you got an aluminum, aluminum, and you got two fiberglass um, that are actually going to go all in one trailer back to where it came from. That's pretty cool. This is two. Oye, bro, no te metas lo que no te importa. Yo no estoy grabando nada ahí, nada ahí. Que te dé una galleta aquí. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? You gotta let him know what time it is. Look at him, 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 look at him. He comes late to the party when I have to take off the damn tube and now he wants to be making a scene. Ante la loca, que te pongo ahí la cámara directamente ahí. Let's see what Jose is doing. Mira que la recogida la basura, que lo voy a tirar a la basura en la cama, ¿eh? Claro que sigue comiendo pilla. Que lo más cerca que va a ir a la basura es ahí de... So now he's starting to cut all the markings that he put. So we'll go ahead and see exactly how those pieces look. And then you match them up to the template and voila. Um, now some people, some people have templates like this made out of cardboard or paper. You know, we just keep the old Hypolon. So if you see there, we, um, we put it to the side. So if you, if, you, if you start looking here, see, we're starting to get some of the angles already. And if, if you start noticing here, all these little curves. All right, you see here? All these, it has this long little curve. These are the angles. Like I said, this is the opposite side of the other one. Now, theoretically, if you get this one, you put it that way, it should be the same. I don't know, I don't know. Jose looks like he's trying to pick a fight today, but I'm, I'm ready, bro. I just had my Red Bull a little while ago. Oh, look at them, look at them, look at them. They're, they're already doing, they're already doing. Here's what they do. They get the steps while I'm filming and then they go ahead and slam it right behind me and I'm supposed to jump like a little girl. <laughs> Such screaming. Guys, can you just let us watch Eber do this? Okay, first piece. Voila. Um, here's the, the other side too. All right. If you see here, you see how he put three? He marked that because he's, he's, he wants to know when he's putting on the table that this is the third piece from the seam from the bow, okay? So, so he knows exactly what he's dealing and what he's working with. If you see, um, you see how he's marked the edges, he put that 2.5 there because he needs 
to know what side he's going to go ahead and put on the machine to sand it down depending on when he removed it okay so that's why sometimes on the actual template you'll see that um, number this is going to be a real cool retube guys it's going to be real real cool customers giving us free reign to what I say make a scene um, just to give you guys a perspective how far this is already look, look how much hype will on here so this is the fourth piece that he's throwing on the table right now and um, this one has a couple of valves on it still he's gonna start marking it first if you see what he's doing there, he's kind of cleaning up those edges so when he runs the uh, um, the marker on, on the Hypalon, he's not really putting a marker on, but he's just kind of like uh, running it on the Hypalon and it marks it. We have everything cut and now, now we're going to start, there's multiple things that we got to do now. We got to actually get those corners where he marked and run it through the machine to start sanding that process all on the edges so that when we put the glue on it we can butt those up together and then put the seams so stay tuned for that let me get you guys a little closer so you guys can see what's going on here all right so this is the cone back here if you guys see over here and, and, and this is the bow. And everything has been worked. And now, he's gonna start marking. You know what, let me get, let me get this off of the camera, off, off of the tripod. I want you guys to see this real quick. Get ready, I want you guys to see this, all right? Like I was saying earlier, here's the cones. And then here's the bow. See, he's marking everything. All right, if you see here, you see this little lip right here? So we put this tape on here, so now we want to have this perfect edge, so this tape, we put it on there and now what we're going to do is we're going to sand this by hand so we get this little area taken out, okay? Let me give you guys a, a better shot of what's going on here, alright? So that is what we're trying to right now to make sure that we tape it up and then what we're going to do is we're going to sand it by hand and after we sand it by hand we're going to go ahead and glue we're gonna put our first coat of glue on, uh, on these pieces. And we're gonna use a hand sander similar to this here. Let me show you this here so you guys can see that. All right? So, so you get a better understanding of what's gonna happen. And then we're gonna sand it, boom, boom, boom. And it's gonna have a perfect straight uh, edge. All right, wanted to get you guys a little bit better of a perspective. So you guys can see a little bit a different angle and get a better understanding of what's going on. So this is still the same part.
completed. Same thing for the following one. <laughs> Carlos just said in Spanish, hey, in any moment you're going to send Alfred to hell. And he says, I just got a little bit more to go. Listen, I, I'm a big firm believer that once people see exactly what it takes to get this done, you guys will get a deeper appreciation for the actual job and understand a little bit why Hypalon tubes will cost what they cost. I mean, these things are going to last you a long time. I, for sure, I could tell you 10 years. I've seen Hypalon tubes last 20 years. I've seen PVC tubes break and come undone in six months. So, you know, anybody that watches my channel know that I'm not the biggest fan of PVC. So, but ultimately you guys decide what you want it's your money right but i think this is the way to go what para la mierda bro delegado delegado we're here talking about um they're making fun of me because my my Spanish is a little bit broken compared to theirs, but it's okay. Um, you see where he's standing right now, guys? If uh, that's kind of like in the center of the tube, it's not uh, uh, directly in the center, but uh, that is where the divider or the baffle is going to be on the tube. Okay, so. If you had an idea or wondering what that was, that's what that is. That's where the baffle is going to be because remember, there's about six chambers or five chambers on this uh, on this boat. So that'll be one of the compartments that keeps the air on one side, and then you know that it divides it to the other side, and, and so on. Hay mucho dinero. So. So look, we're piecing out this last piece, guys. But uh, you know, one of the comments that they're talking about on, on the radio is that with the whole coronavirus, there's a, uh, a big event called Ultra over here in Miami. And uh, they're saying, should we cancel it? And they're saying, well, we're gonna wait until the last minute. But by, by that time, think about it. You know, you're putting a lot of people at risk. And then everybody who doesn't wanna be at Ultra now is gonna be closer or contaminated to those people. So it's just a cluster F. But let's continue this YouTube video. The cone that we're going to be using on there, that's it right there, guys. And there we have it. That's going to go ahead and what essentially that's going to do is going to let us put the glue on there so that when we put the Hypalon on it, it sticks. Remember, the Hypalon has to be sanded down. The rubber of this cone has to be sanded down. We put two coats of glue and then, then, and then we'll put it together and that's how eventually we'll get our cone piece. Now you guys are going to see what we do and, and how we preserve as much Hypalon as possible. Well, she's probably just going to start running the... Uh, I don't know if it's that sharp right now. Normally, there he goes, there he goes. He's going to run it. You see that? Depending on how sharp the uh, scissor is. So, Boom. Easiest way to cut it, to be honest with you. He just adjusted it, and now we're gonna start making all the, you see all that leftover that he was just cutting. You're gonna see now what, what we do. See, 
feel and what that's doing is it's cutting all that right there now you'll see see that boom now you see the pieces pero te enseña ahí como se corta eso enseñala ahí cuando separes el pedazo I want you guys to see how he separates it just so you can see what exactly what he did there you go and see and now we have the same tapes from the same high pylon you know um, you guys will probably never see that right like the areas that are covered with tapes and stuff so sometimes you know you can use any color but we try to keep it the same color if possible but do, don't be surprised if somebody look in, even then in that brand new willard that we we took apart we saw different color hypolons on there And the first coat continues. You see he's putting the glue in there and he's mixing a little bit of toluene in there and now what he's doing is he's stirring it um, obviously in South Florida it's a little more humid than most places but uh, we can get away with I mean we do it so often that we already know exactly what's the best mixture so if somebody has their their car um, making a scene out there See if I can get a good zoom in on, on what he's doing. See that? Okay, that's toluene, guys. Some people like to use acetone. We use toluene. And obviously, Gatorade bottles are not just to pee in, guys, you know? We also use them as... Uh, I know you guys are smiling after that one. I know, I know. Um, we use them actually as uh, toluene uh, holders. We put some holes on them and... You see how he's getting the seam? And now what I want you to guys see is it's already been butt up and this is an additional support for that seam. So see how it's been butted up? It actually has, it's not directly butt up. It's actually overlapped a little bit. And now this gives it a little bit more, um, I guess resistance for it to open up. and Just makes it a lot stronger. So now he'll, he'll get the, uh, what we call a madera, which is basically the hand tool. Put, put the piece of wood under there and start working it in there real, real good. Um, this is the second coat. See how he's sliding it in there, that piece of wood? To make sure that he gets as much leverage on that and then starts working it. And, and these tools, by, uh, by the way guys, we make them ourselves. So some of you guys have asked me, where, where do you get those tools? We've, ha we've made them ourselves. A lot of work, guys.
Like, ponlo ahí abajo, para abajo un poquitico, ahí mismito. All right, guys. You see that? That's the consistency of the glue. Muevelo un poquitico. You see that? All right. That's how we're working the glue, all right? Yeah. It's a lot of work, guys. I mean, I wanted this video to be a little bit more thorough, not so much for people who are interested in the retube, because you guys really get excited about the end product. So you'll skip to the end of the video. But the guys who are actually doing this type of work, I think that there's a lot of value in seeing some of the procedures and processes that we use. And sometimes you guys get that light bulb moment and says, oh, that's how they do it, or, you know? Um, so we're, 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 we're about to set up the whole baffles. And that's what we're gonna be putting on now. So you guys will see that. Um, 866 guys, 866 Hypolon. It's uh, very uh, strong compared to 828. I always give people the option. I was like, look, depending on what you want, if you want to go 828, to, to eight to eight, then great, you know? It's kind of like equivalent what to what you'll get from like a regular purchase on and, and most Hypolon tubes, like bigger tubes. You should, should kind of ask about that is like, hey, what's the thickness of this? Um, a Hypolon, you know, and we're, we're using Orca. That's a particular brand that we use. I personally think it's the best. But we got a boat here, guys. I mean, just just thinking about removing this from that Willard over there at Black Point Marina to see so far where it's at. I mean, it's gonna look really, really nice. It's gonna look, it's gonna look badass. Wait until you guys see this. You can visualize, I know you can visualize. It's gonna be a cool, cool retube. I'm excited about this because people are gonna get to see something pretty over the top. Now, remember those small folds that he put on those? This is the second coat and he's putting the second coat on this and he's also going to put a second coat on this as well so he already put uh, a little bit of glue here where the dividers are going to be and you're going to see exactly why we did that Right, guys remember the folds that he did now you're gonna see what he's got to build up remember that was that hypolon that was folded so now he's gonna start building this up down there guys because I want you guys to see a different angle of what's going on here okay uh, games bro I had important things to do bro like like what like build tubes and what? build tubes and fix boats and last one guys this is the last one
It's that time guys, it's that time. We're gonna start installing the baffles. Not the baffles per se completely, but, but what's gonna hold the baffles together to the actual tube. So you guys are gonna see that right now. Yeah, I'll call them tomorrow. All right, so this is the divider seam. And, and notice how we use the same hypalon. We try to keep it, like if it's an 866 boat, we try to keep it with 866 hypalon, which is thicker. So it's gonna be a little harder for that, you know, uh, baffle to blow, which it can happen, guys. Uh, it, it does happen. I mean, we, we do everything possible so it doesn't happen on our end, but it's something that can happen. Now, if a baffle blows, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna go ahead and get air coming from a different chamber you're like wondering you're wondering like why you fill up that chamber and then it's not like stopping it all right you remember how he he had the okay he's opening it up now remember the the crease that we had put that's why he did that okay that's why it was now you understand why when we had it all folded up why he did that okay boom that's the reason why the joys of making the tube see how it hits the edge of it pretty hard he's trying to make sure any of those areas where there can be some type of leaks or anything to prevent leaks that's what he's doing right there now We're getting there guys, we're getting there. I was gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. And that would be already four baffles. And I believe this one has another one or two more. The last two guys, the last two dividers are going on. All right, so there's a, a total of six on this particular tube. Um, just spoke to the customer too. Just give him a couple of my thoughts on the actual cosmetics. You guys have seen so far the, the build process of this. All right, so we're getting to the very end guys. So far, here's where we're at. We already put all six of these baffles up. So he just needs to you know, give Maeda, what we call Maeda, guys, <laughs> um, to these. Um, we got six of them in total. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get the cones and start building out the cones. So I think that's probably what we'll be able to finish off today. But tomorrow, tomorrow we should be closing this tube up. So, which for you, it's like right now. That's it. All the dividers and the baffles. What's gonna, we'll, we'll, we'll make the actual dividers, but the hard part is already done. Uh, well, it's, it's all pretty much labor intensive, guys. I mean, if you see this little by little, there's a lot of work going on here. First coat guys, this is the first coat of glue going on the cones.
first coat of glue over here now. This has one coat, we gotta wait for it to dry, we'll touch it with our fingers, and then we're gonna go and put another coat here. Saw how far up he did it on the other side. It's been pretty noisy with these uh, machines going on back and forth, but I, I definitely want you guys to start appreciating a little bit of this process. All right, guys, it's about to happen. He didn't like the angle that it was getting, so he's opening it completely up. That, All that, huh? See that, guys? Yeah. And just like that, guys, you saw that how he just opened it up. He didn't hide, he didn't like the way it was coming out, and he redid it. He repositioned the cone, and he got a better angle now. have all the the tubes both sides here we got to put the bow okay all right well we have to see the cones over there those two are the end cones and here is the bow all right so we still need to put that on but we're not going to do that today we're going to finish up here get this ready for tomorrow now he starts working it good making sure those cones don't fail cones are extremely important guys really really important
Ever right now, he's just finished putting the tapes inside the inside part of the cone. Let me show you what's going on here so you guys can get a better understanding. Okay, so this is the cone, right? Eventually it's gonna close up right here like this, right? Now the inside here where the seam was, where he connected them to, they're overlapping. And at the same time, we put this tape on there to, to reinforce it and make it a little stronger. A li not a little stronger, it becomes a lot stronger when you put this tape on here. So you see here, all right? And then, like I said, it'll start wrapping like this and that's where you get the shape of your tube. Starting to come alive, guys. So now this is the bow. This is the front part of the tube. And he's starting to work and he's gonna put that part on now. And then essentially we'll have all the pieces together and then we attach both sides kind of like this. And then we get a, a tube. So for the owner of this boat, this is the bow of your boat right here. Isn't that pretty cool? Pretty crazy, man. All 866 military grade Hypalon, guys. It doesn't get any better than that. We use Orca fabrics. It looks very, very nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna love this boat. It's gonna look so cool. So many people are gonna be excited about this build. All right, so. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. How cool is this, dude? All right, guys. Let's uh, let's start getting ready to put the bow um, on those two sides over there. So. I'm actually gonna get on the table. I want you guys to see this whole process. So let me get the, the, the top view from this for you guys. Yeah, I wanted to get this top view for you guys. All right. Now, it's starting to look like a tube, guys. All right. So this is, the, the cones are on that side. And now he's going to start putting together the bow. All right. All right, guys, it's coming on. The bow is starting to come on. All right, so this is the very front of the tube. He's starting to put it on. So. These guys, they're... Oye, ya yo traje flan. Ustedes están muy gordos para que yo traiga más helado y más cosas. I got them a pastry earlier. Now they're complaining that I didn't go get them ice cream when I got ice cream for myself. You know what? I'm tired of these guys already. They don't, they don't, they don't appreciate me. All right, guys. So let's let's try to be serious here and show exactly what's going on. All right, so he put that bow on top of the the port uh, tube, and uh, he's starting to put it together. All right. You see that curve? Little by little, guys, it's starting to come alive. This whole retube. It's a lot of work, man. But it's pretty fulfilling when you start seeing it come alive like this. And, you know, nothing makes me happier than seeing someone happy with the restoration or the retube that we've done for them, you know? I think, uh, obviously, the service is, is, in, is extremely important, but the quality and the craftsmanship is is uh, essential. And then sometimes you gotta get guided too, you know? Things don't always turn out perfect, guys. You know, but uh, rest assured that we'll try to make everything right when it's all said and done. All 
I'm just uh, I'm just excited about this particular build. I've been wanting to do a Willard for a long, long time, and we finally got somebody that, uh, you know, because a lot of times people will get these Willards and they get them directly from the manufacturer who used to build the O2s because they don't know that they can go a Hypalon route. And uh, like I said, if you're in the market for a retube, I would 100% recommend Hypalon, especially if you're in warmer climates. If you're in colder climates, you can get away with a little bit more, but hotter climates, or you're going to have the boat in hotter climates, definitely want to stick with Hypalon. And there's the bow, baby. It is on. Madera time. Madera, guys. We're going to put some madera on this bad boy. And uh, there we go. Let's tighten her up. Oh boy, it is so hot in this shop right now. Hold on guys. All right guys, so here what we're doing now is we're starting to prep this up so tomorrow we can close up the tube. The bow's put, the cones are put. It's all happening now guys. So we'll leave this prepped up and then we'll start closing it tomorrow. I told you guys this process is uh, little by little it's happening. The moment of truth is happening, gentlemen, and everyone else. Be quiet. Stop, stop. Come on, stop making a scene, uh, Carlos. All right, so uh, remember that we put the cones, we just put the bow, and now we laid out the tube across the table, and we're putting the second coat of glue so we can begin the process of closing them up. And we're going to show you that now so you guys can see how we close this up. Um, bowels already put on now it's essentially put the second coat and then little by little start putting it working it giving it madera and uh, we also need to put the valves now we need to put the valves before we close anything up obviously I'll show you the process of that so you guys can see that and um, it's gonna be a cool cool restoration today we should have everything closed up as far as the tube part Monday which is, you know, today is essentially Friday, you know, in the video you're watching it, who knows when is this, but he's actually closing up here. Let me, let me get some of this footage here, guys. I want you to see what's going on. Here's the bow of the uh we got over here get a little bit out of the way but i want you guys to see this happening this is the second coat that's on there now so He's putting it on, making sure everything is good, and then we'll, we'll make sure we press it good. He's got to get that valve now and put that valve in. All right, so now he's going towards the center. Remember, we cannot close up the tube 
completely because we, we, he has to get his hand in there to put that valve in. Now, the bow is still open. It's, it's, it's installed, right? The bow is installed. Remember here? So we'll install it. We'll, we'll attach these two parts and then everything is going to be closed up. Now he'll, 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 he'll glue the two back pieces in the back and go from there. It's very crucial that he gets the, the edge of that tool on the edge of the seam so that he can make sure that there's nothing that can uh, leak from those areas. Okay, so see how this is still open? He's getting the areas where we still need to put the baffles or the dividers of the chambers. And we're gonna be doing that process soon. Funny how people just watch the videos and they're like, I can do that. See the line that he's making? All right. Now, like I tell you, all right, for us it's important, it's very important to use the same diameter, all right, the same diameter of Hypalon, which is in this case 866 for your baffles. Because there's no sense of you spending all this money on you know, A66 tubes, and then your baffles are some flimsy baffle. Then what's the, the outside looks good, but the, the heart of the tube, what's actually gonna make it safer, is not safe. Not that it's not safe, because the likelihood of you popping the baffles, I mean, you gotta really aggressively inflate it. But, Here's the sanded version and the unsanded version. 
see it won't grab unless it's sanded down all right guys so he here he's gonna put this on here I'm, I'm in his way right now but he's starting to put the second coat on the tube and now this is gonna be the lid for the baffle okay remember how we uh, showed that whole process earlier in the video now we'll wait for this to get a little tacky then we put it and then do the same thing Madera um, we got some new lights in here it's starting to to reflect even better for work purposes right so uh, let me show you guys the new LED lights that we just installed yeah and all the old ones are over there and back there which we gotta throw those out before they start popping everywhere all right guys it is going on first baffle and and just so you guys don't have to see the procedure for all other five dividers i'm just going to shoot one so you guys could get an idea i don't want this to be a four hour video either but i did want you guys to see how it's done so you guys can see that part of it okay and then what we'll do is we'll do a cone same way because we're not going to show you how to do the other cone because we don't need to and then eventually you'll get the tube completely closed up which we're not going to need to show the entire rest of the closing of the tube either because you guys saw the beginning process of that so and there you have an 866 divider that is gonna hold one compartment you know from the next and you guys have learned a lot in this video man hey don't forget to smash those likes um first of all smash a like forever he he's had me around his table normally i don't bother him as much around the table the guys always mess around with him you know but I don't like to bother him while he's working. He works really fast and he's very, very efficient and I don't like to slow him down. So I told him, I go, look, we're gonna have to go ahead and do a video of this guy right here because this, this is a tube that a lot of people are interested in seeing how it's done, uh, especially like uh, those Willards, uh, Zodiacs, big Zodiacs that, you know, sometimes people wanna go ahead and get some Zodiacs retubed. These, th these are perfect tubes. It's, it's essentially the same process and procedure for somebody that's interested in a tube of that magnitude. Um, anything over 15 feet, guys, I'm telling people go 866. Most people that retube with us do 866 Hyperlon anyways. They just, they find it, um, they get more value for it. And if we have extra at the, at the time, from either other big jobs or something like that that we, we can probably get from a roll, a small tube. We'll give you guys the pricing depending on what we have available. So, I mean, I can't promise that all the time, but when we do, I do offer it. Isn't that crazy how, how the whole process is all done by hand? It's pretty crazy, man. Let's bring in and let's put one of the valves. Let me show you the valve before. Oh, actually, he'll start putting it in there, but let me show you guys the valves that we use. Okay. If you see it here, all right. 
let me also show you. All right, so. And if you take it off here. So he's gonna start positioning that valve now so he can put it on. What he's doing is he's turning it in the inside. Essentially, that's what he's doing. He's got it in there like this. He's putting it on and he's turning it. Okay, that's what, he's, what he just did in there. We have the, the, the cone. We're about to put on the cone and we're gonna start closing it up already. All right. And just like that guys, we got the valve, the cones, we got some of the valves already in and the rest is just to begin closing her up. And I won't put you through the, uh, the mission of the entire close up, but I do want you guys to get the perspective of how and what's been done, okay? So, and if you see here, I'm trying to get a better angle. All right, so he's starting to close up, guys. And we're getting the boat. We're gonna start screaming, we're on a boat. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe just to make this uh, video a little bit interesting, maybe after this video, I'll talk to the owner of the boat and we'll do a, we'll, we'll, we'll take a ride on his, uh, Badass new Willard 730 retube, and we'll show how it was looking in the water. I think I think he's I think this customer will let it ha let let that happen. He's actually not too far. The actual boat is not too far from where I launch out of. So local boat. I I didn't know that there was one here until I got that call. I was like, really? Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, he's saying that you want all your seams to match. Everything looks, you know, nice and good, professional. Um, he's, he's got a world of experience, guys. Er, er, Eber used to work at the table in Nautica for many years, and. Um, And it's unfortunate, but that company went out of business and they made uh, incredible products. I mean, at the end there, they weren't bringing in the best quality because I guess they knew that they were on the way out. But prior to, you know, like the Great Recession or they were building some pretty good boats when Senior was there. Uh, now, now, I guess now some people are like saying, OK, now I understand why rib boats cost a little bit more money than a regular boat and because it's expensive and, and what's most expensive obviously you guys have seen the labor end of this right all the work that's involved that's done by hand um, but after this right you have the hyperline and we use orca so orca is extremely expensive i wish it was less money so we can get better pricing but it seems like everything keeps on going up every year um, but we're we're happy with with that type of hypalon and, I, and we feel it's the best um and i'll reiterate if you have a bigger boat just go 866 if you want to go 828 because you don't care and you're like hey i'm getting rid of this in a year two years or whatnot i don't care then go 828 it's sufficient it's standard it's 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 it's, it's, it's exactly capable but now if you want to go ahead and get something 
that's going to last you longer, just get 866. Upgrade right then and there and just get that out of your mind. If you hit a dock pretty hard, it's not going to, you know, mess up as easy if it were an 828. The closing is done, guys. So, like I said, I'm going to spare you guys from seeing the entire uh, closing of the tube, but we're doing this back section so you guys can see. We just put that glue on there, and uh, it's, uh, it's ready to go, guys. She's ready to go. She's getting closed up. You guys have seen the entire process, man. How cool is that from us removing the tube to... And, and the reason why I do that is because I, I want you guys to know exactly how much work is involved because sometimes people say, you know, when we give certain quotes on certain jobs, they're like, why, why so much? Okay, let me show you why. Here, here watch this three hour video on YouTube. And there you have it guys beautiful to say the least isn't that beautiful and like I said we'll, we'll try to go ahead and what we'll do is we'll put air on her now we'll put a little bit of air so you guys can see what goes on and then after the fact We'll tighten the valves and, you know, we don't let anything leave the shop until we know it's 100%. Now, keep in mind, the darker colors that you use, depending on the climate you're in, sometimes we get people that want black tubes and stuff like that. Guys, black tubes are nice, but if you are in very hot climates, they're about 20 to 30% hotter um, when you step on them. And... Think about that. So if you over inflate them or maybe you inflate them normal and then that hot sun gets it because it's 30% hotter, that too, man, is, is like overly pressurized. So you got to be mindful of that depending on it. This is a Neptune Gray. It shouldn't be that, that bad. Um, it won't last. Uh, the appearance, appearance won't last as long as white or Arctic Gray. Um, I personally like Arctic Gray a lot, which is a lighter version of uh of white and uh it's not white but it's, that's what we call arctic gray this is a neptune we have a whole list but obviously since we use arctic gray often we recommend it because we know that it's going to last the longest white is very nice at first but long term it'll get moldy faster it gets dirtier faster and those are the things that happen now i'm gonna shout out all right, guys, we're going to put a little bit of air so you guys can see that. Um, all right, and this is immediate, but we're not going to fill it up too much. We're not going to put too much pressure, but we want you guys to see what the baffle does. That's the man right there, guys. All right. Let me show you guys real quick. All right. You see here how it's open. Ábrelo ahí, ábrelo ahí. Espérate, no. Evan, Evan, ábrelo un momentico para que yo quiero que ellos vean. Okay. So.
All right, let's get over here so you guys can see what those baffles do. You see the baffle? All right, that's the baffle, all right? Now, the rest of the tube is not even done. The rest of the tube is not even closed up yet, right? So, but we did that so you guys can see how many different compartments are on there. So, and you saw that we just literally just closed that up not even five minutes ago. Now we didn't inflate it really, really hard because we don't want it to lose the seams, but it's, it's pretty much ready to go. That's how it's gonna be. Now, once we close up the rest, then eventually you have multiple baffles and if one of those were to ever fail because you puncture anything, it's not gonna do anything to it. So, all right guys, so we just, I'm going to try to shorten the video a little bit because, I mean, just showing it getting inflated and all that stuff, there's no really value in that. All right, so we just inflated everything and we're now going to start um, marking it. So if you see the tapes that we're, we have been throwing, some are for the rub rails, this particular per, uh, customer is going to have uh, some, some steps here that we're going to put on there. He wants some changes in the bow that he didn't have before. So it looks good. Um, obviously it's a little dusty right now and uh, we're gonna get this uh, process going so they can see. All right, so now I gotta reconfirm with the customer everything because once it's on, it's on. Because remember, wherever we're gonna put stuff, we have to sand there. So you gotta cover that with whatever you're sanding it with. So very, very important to make sure you're decisive of what is Hold on a second, hold on. Go ahead, pass again. Go ahead. Oh, no, stop! What the hell's wrong with you? Hey, no, hey, no! All right, so here's the hole. Just wanted you guys to see a little bit of what's going on here. All right. This is gonna be a cool looking boat, man. As, as, as we all know right now, I don't wanna mention the, the name per se, but you guys kinda know why I'm wearing a mask. I had a cough the other day and I don't want to expose anybody to anything, you know? So, the, the, the guys are here thinking that I'm, um, I'm being overly cautious for me, but no, I'm actually protecting them because I'm the one who had the cough. Um, okay, so, so you have a non-skid here and you also have a non-skid here. All right, now we're gonna have the lifeline we're gonna have an inside lifeline and an outside lifeline. So we'll have two, and then he's gonna do an anchor guard here in the bow. Let me point the camera to the bow so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, so here, the anchor guard that we're gonna do, normally the rub rail will come this way, but this customer wants a rub rail here just so that it's protected by the rub rail and uh, you guys will see what, what he means. Wally right now is making the bolt ropes that are gonna hold um, the, the tubes onto the boat, okay? Uh, some people call them flaps. I mean, we call them bolt ropes. He's marking now, so we're, because we're gonna throw the tape on that now, and then we'll glue it, and then we fold it, similar to this one here, okay? So you guys get an idea of what's going on here. Let me be, no, oh God! 
let me uh, let me explain what's going on here we're actually marking right now the, the entire tube so remember here we're gonna have an anchor guard the customer wanted to have an anchor guard here we're gonna have the rubber out here and these here we marked it one side for the customer we're gonna have the handles here rub rail and then over here like you see here we have some non-skids that he wanted he wanted non-skids non-skids wherever you see these circles there's going to be a handle here these circles are going to be the lifeline okay so you're going to have this life now it's going to be the same thing on this side but since we didn't know what the customer was going to do we didn't want to sand anything down but we wanted to give them a visual sometimes people don't visualize guys so um that's why I always say you can't visualize. All right, so non-skid, lifeline, handle, couple handles up front, and uh, it's, gonna look, it's gonna look mean. This thing is gonna look so mean, guys. Um, all sanded, sanded. Non-skids are gonna be here, okay? And the inside is, is the lifelines. Boy, bro, you have a mask inside. You don't have a mask inside. No, a mask inside. What, bro? See that? I tell them to put a mask on. They don't want to. They want to do this. He's, he's calling me a fruit face because I'm, I'm trying to stay alive. And, and they're here sneezing and stuff, doing it like it's all joke. Guys, what do you think? Hey, smash that like. Deja la gritería, cojone. Smash that like. If you think this uh, Willard is going to be an amazing retube, I'm, I'm really digging it. Let me, let me show you guys real quick. Ni, ni tengo idea. Alright, guys, check it out. So, alright, see here? Alright. See that? And so now the rope or the lifeline is going to go through here. Obviously, this has already been sanded. It's got some glue. And uh, that's going to be our lifeline. Actually, I got to be careful because it's already going to start sticking. Um, so while he's taking care of the bow cover over here in the front, if you see here, He's going to work the bow cover and also Ever is starting to put the rope through all the handles right now so I could hold on and it's going to be an interesting project guys it's it's been it's been crazy it's been uh, pretty crazy outside in, in the real world I mean uh, everybody's watching this video whenever they watch it but right now we have a big thing going on in the world and a lot of people are scared as you see guys while he's there and here's the old piece all right and he's just installing now the new piece now this is gonna have an anchor guard so I mean, we're putting it on, but it, it doesn't necessarily need this piece anymore because of the, the type of uh, anchor guard that we're putting on the bow anyway. So, but you know, we put it on there just so the customer could have the same things that he had on this boat. Obviously, it's going to look a little bit different, but all right. Let's go see what uh, Eva's doing. Get a little closer.
there we go so he's gonna start putting the first coat of glue on the rub rail remember this line these two lines on here that's the entire rubber it's all been sanded if you see he's doing it in kind of like in the center of the tube because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put um, a black uh, piece of hypolon in between the rub rail so that we can have a nice um, piece of uh, black hypolon give it a nice stripe in between the, the rub rails Here's a non-skid. Let me show you guys what's going on here. See here? All right, so now we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sand the back of this so that we can put it on the tube. Now, this didn't come in this position. I, 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 what we did is, you know, you get a corner and then you cut it off, you know, get a perfect corner. Well, these are these are on you see they're all in now we're gonna start putting the ones inside where you have the outside ones on and we'll start putting these inside on here's the stripe okay here's the stripe this is going on before we put the rub rail and uh, If you look over there, Wally is, is taking off the tape from the lifeline uh, rings. You see what he's doing there? He's, he's taking off the excess tape and if there's any uh, like really thick glue, he's getting rid of that now. So that before we do the main, main cleaning of all everything, it's just a little bit easier. You marked them, right? Oh my god! You're such a character. Stop, bro. Uh, you know I'm, I'm holding the tripod. This is why you're acting crazy. Alright, guys. I'm not that strong anymore. Alright, and there you have your first non skid. Alright. Sí. Look how pretty she looks, guys. Wow, let me tell you, it's such a big difference, man. Ah, se ve bueno, looks good. Se ve bien, bien nice. Guys, this, this too. Yeah, this thing is gonna look badass. I mean, we knew it was gonna be an incredible retube because we had a, a lot of involvement to say the least. Gotta make sure all these are on.
You guys remember those little lines that I told you about earlier when we were putting the stripe on? Here's ever putting the, the lines now again, but this and this time it's for the rub rail. So he's marking it for the rub rail. Let me get a little closer there so you guys can see what I'm talking about. See that? That's the marking so that when we put the rub rail, that's what's gonna guide us. Guys, here, here's the thing. Here, here's what, you know, normally we use beer to motivate the team, but now we have this. If they do a good job, they get one of these each. If they do a really, really good job, they get two of these each. The new currency, guys, this is a commodity nowadays. That's good news. Yeah. We got one more day. We got one more day, guys. One more day, and it's Friday. We finish this tube, and then we all quarantine. done with this bad boy I mean it's been uh, we got the rub rail coming now we're gonna have to sand that down and then from there we uh, we start doing all the cleaning and and bolting it on we're actually now putting WD-40 on all the uh, screws here and we actually you'll, you'll see now have to fix those because they were bad. We're using we're using Toluene to clean the excess glue after we've you know we've just went ahead and used everything else. The customer wanted uh, some custom work at the bow, so you guys will see that now in a moment. It's going to look pretty uh, beefy. It's going to look really, really mean what we're doing to the bow. We're about to put on the rub rail. We got Ever over here um, putting this uh, rub rail and making sure the rub rail is all sanded down good. So all this here. Normally it would be from here to here, but he wanted an anchor guard, which is gonna be here. Carlos, stop uh, sneezing, bro. And you see this cutout? So this whole area is gonna be reinforced with extra bow, top and bottom. It's gonna look real, real strong. Beefed up, bro, beefed up. What you got, bro? Don't sneeze, bro. Gotta go, gotta go. So you guys can see, check it out. See that here? Here are your handles, all right? And see the coat of glue? Now we'll put another coat. These things are good too. coat of glue and we're gonna install the other handles as well so 
Actually, you know what? I might go a little higher for you guys. So you guys can see while he's actually making sure that it's all nice and tight in there. And the bow is about to go on. So this is gonna be the anchor guard, guys. So here's the anchor guard, and the anchor guard is essentially gonna protect, you know, from any bumping and all that good stuff as well. It's just a different style. Some people like it uh, along the tube, and some people like it vertical like this. What kind of respect, bro? What kind of respect is that? I've lost all control in this place, bro. I've never had control, but the little control I had, I lost it, bro. No credibility at all. All right, so, guys, I don't know about you, but this thing is looking mean as hell. I tell you, if this guy doesn't like this boat, what we came up with, because you kind of got to steer customers to amazingness sometimes. I understand that. I, I, I get it. I understand it. We're talking about a problem there that, that wasn't our problem, guys. Essentially, the, the bolts and all that stuff were bad. So we're, sw we're swapping them out. We're doing the right thing, but, you know, we should have discussed that with a customer and tell them, hey, listen, it's going to be X, this, Y, whatever. So, but we're just taking care of it. We're trying to get everything done before Friday, which is tomorrow, because they're going to quarantine everybody. So we want to try to get this boat out of here by Friday and have it nice and done so I can come back, go home and edit this video so you guys can have this while you guys are cooped up in your crib. Hating life. Machines, I tell you, machines over here. No, let me show I made it, bro. Remember, I'm the guy editing the video. Wait, 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 wait. Go. No good. No good. What? No good. You missed it.
So here's what we're doing, guys. We're putting on the rub rail now, uh, the top rub rail. Alright guys, so the last, the second rub rail, okay, look at this, that is looking so mean, dude, let me get over here so you guys can see. There it is. Look how mean that thing looks, guys. I'll tell you, when people see this on the water, they're gonna be like, what the? Let me pull over, let me pull over. On their own, they're gonna pull over on their own. This thing looks mean though, my God, it looks crazy. Guys, the bow cover is on. So pretty. So we're deflating it now. Because we're going to start installing it. So it'll be nicely installed shortly. So we're going to install it right now, guys. It's almost done. And then we'll put the lower rub rail cleaner up. And we have ourselves an amazing boat. We're, we're using this to make sure that there's... And now we got to put the flaps that come on here. He said that they don't understand me, but I disagree. I might sound like I'm in uh, a fish tank, but I might survive the Corona. Or the Bex, or the Red Stripe. Oh, yeah. But I lost all respect out here today, bro. This video, is, it's been way too long. I'm about to finish this up. Next, next clip you guys see is the end. That's it, I'm done. I can't deal with these guys. That's it, I'm done. Tell me the truth. Did you guys, when we were taking that, when me and Jose were taking this tube off, did you visualize it was gonna be this pretty? I mean, we're gonna take it out so you guys can see the whole thing now, but it's absolutely stunning, man. It looks beautiful.
Ja. Ya me cagaste el video. <risa> el león de la selva. Vale, enséñale la punta. Mira. There it is, guys. Alright. We'll show you the rest now. We got Rodolfo here too. So you guys will see this video. If you want to see this video of what's going on here, let me know. It's been, bro, it's been, let me take off this mask, man. It's, uh, it's been a, a beautiful boat. Beautiful boat. We're excited about this one, guys. There she is, guys. Look at this, how beautiful this boat is. That is a 730 Whaler retube, gentlemen. And there she is. Look how beautiful this thing is. Beautiful, man. Look at that, gentlemen. Looks bigger outside. There she is. What do you guys think, huh? Tell me that is not the meanest, awesome retube you've seen on a Willard, guys. Look at this, man. That thing is beast mode. Now, we got the lifelines inside, the lifelines outside. See, si, dale, ponselo. And uh, she's done, guys. We're we're done. Let me uh, let me get the guys to come over here real quick. And all right, guys. Well, listen up. we hold on. Let me let me let me put my mask on. My mask on. Hey, guys. Thank you for watching the video. We have Eber here. He did the tubes. You guys saw everything. We got Jose, my nemesis. 
we obviously obviously have Mr. Amazingness here, Carlos and Wally. Guys, this has been an incredible video. The customer was like floored with the results. And this is a 730 wheeler. We got two of these. If you want two of them, let us know. We'll do it all over again. Let's go, guys. La pluma, la pluma. All right. Today's show was brought to you by the following sponsors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, amazingness, that's what we do. Lost it, guys. We lost the engine. Boyd, mark the spot. Mark the spot. Mark yeah, it. I'm at the spot. On mark, the GPS. Mark. Hey, lo vamos a sacar. People don't think this is gonna happen. We're gonna take it out. Yeah. There it goes, guys. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. How do you do it?
touched it one second. Now, bro, for being, for doing what we did, not being certified, dude, tell me this engine doesn't look like a beast. Bro, this is going 100 percent to charity. leaks up there guys from some hoses that weren't clamped down but there it is people there it is we were busting our head not wondering wondering what did we do wrong that is crazy bro Wow, that is, bro, that's incredible. Bro. Hey, bro, we've been four days back to back to back to back to back. I cut my hair, bro. I had long, beautiful hair, flowy, bro. I said I gotta cut it. Happy birthday, bro. My my family, I literally. No, listen. My family right now. It's my birthday. That is why. I, I asked him. I was, bro, I was struggling. I, was, yes. I have to tell everybody, bro, that we didn't start to up today, bro. I saw my guys. Bro, I saw it in your face, bro. You're like, bro, you, you were into it, bro. That's what got me excited, bro. When you told me the story, I knew about the story. The story, and said, bro. The story, bro. This is a story, bro. This is this is bigger than <laughs> just two guys here, bro. This is yeah, people that get together, bro, and they want to achieve. Bro, just like you helped me today, you told me, don't worry, I'm going to go over there. I'm not going to charge you a cent, bro. Nah, bro. And, and you know what? To me, bro, you know how many people have done that along the way? That they knew the story, bro. Hey, for me, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's huge. <laughs> Wow. Celebrating with some cabecito, baby. Hey, cheers. 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 I was home. They, my family was cutting. They're about to cut a cake. They're about to put the little light there. And, <laughs> and then I said, I got Eric calling me. I got to come back. Rodolfo, I'm on the way over there right now. It's... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go live. Bro, Eric, Eric is telling Rodolfo that he left it, he saw the videos like recently. And that's the first one he did and he's saying he's crazy. Alright guys. When we once we disconnected also this sensor here this sensor up here this one's bad we didn't change this one once we disconnected it it also fired up eric went ahead and bled the line make sure that the line was good and like that it happened Special day. I want to thank all the people. Really, 
all the people that have really truly helped me along the way. There's so many people, guys. I don't want to mention anybody in particular, but thank you so much. I really do. And this is not about me or not about Rodolfo. This is about you guys. So you guys will never, ever, ever give up, all right? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Amazingness. That is what we do. Edit. Boom. YouTube sensation. Some kind of bubbles coming up. It's coming up, guys. It's starting. Oh my god! Yeah! That's what we're talking about, baby! She's here! Woo! She's here! Vete para allá! Vete para allá! We gotta go ahead and get it now. Nosotros lo tenemos que coger ahora. Cógelo para allá! Vete para allá! Dale que se nos baja! 100% safe. Alright. All right, guys, so we got it up, okay? Oh, eso está bien. Wait. Yeah. Eso está bien. good guys we did it we did it wow let's go see this beautiful let's see this beautiful work of art all right guys we did it yeah 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 baby we did it what a day bro what a day guys Pedro thank you sir the man has uh has done uh, miracles out here, guys. I know. I know you guys can't visualize. It's hard. I know it's hard. Trust me, it's hard. I'm gonna have that thing going. Vroom, 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 vroom. Bro, 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 bro. Did you think I was gonna let our Mercury Verado not start, baby? We got here Nelson. Nelson, thank you so much, man. You guys were true professionals. Pedro, what a beast. And Rodolfo, my main man. We already soaked it up. We're ready. We're already getting ready to go. Amazingness. That's what we do. Because we never quit and we never give up. And we never, ever leave a twin in the ocean. All right? We do things right. Remember, clean up your hole. I'm out from Montana. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. Hey guys, Alfred Montini here, and guess what? We are at the shop. Uh, for those of you that just uh, clicked on my channel, never been here before, I do a lot of rib boat restorations, boat reviews, and essentially stuff to be on the water. But I'm really excited about this uh, boat build. It's a, it's a 730 Willard, where I'm actually... Here, go. Go, be the star, go do the intro, go. Go do the intro. Oh, go do the intro then.